Hey cousins, welcome back to our channel. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can become one of our cousins. Alright guys, so this video, as you can see by the title, is going to be about um, what's been going on with my hair, my postpartum hair loss. I know I have a lot of moms that follow me, a lot of women that are pregnant, uh, first time mom, second time mom, it's just like, you know, I have a lot of mommies that follow me and I'm so appreciative that you guys come here for advice. So I just want to share what's been going on with my postpartum hair, um, hair loss, and uh, just my journey and what I'm doing and, you know, how I'm trying to maintain it. For those that don't know, don't really have knowledge on postpartum hair loss, I'm going to like give you guys a little insight. So basically, when you are pregnant, well, okay, let's start before you get pregnant, okay? So, on a regular day basis, right, your hair sheds every single day. It doesn't shed to the fact that it looks like it's falling out, it just sheds naturally, right? But once you get pregnant, your hair stops shedding. And for that entire nine months, your hair just grows tremendously. You know, it doesn't shed at all. It has to grow. Like, everything grows. Everything everywhere grows when you're pregnant, okay? And your hair is one of them. So, once you drop that baby, once you give birth, your hair then begins to shed again. But... Now it's shedding a lot because your hair didn't shed for that whole nine months. So now it's shedding for all of those nine months that it wasn't shedding. Like a lot of hair coming out at once, right? And it's different for everybody. I mean, from my experience, you know, with having blessed my hair shed with him, now with baby favor, my hair is shedding and... You know, all the moms that I've talked to and um, the research that I've done, it's just like something that you can't get away from. It's like everybody experiences this, some to the extreme and some a little less. It really just depends on your body and your hair and you. It really just depends. Everybody's still different but similar in a lot of ways. My hair is definitely shedding. Now, I'm just going to give you guys a little insight on what happened when I had blessed versus now. When I had Bless, my hair was shedding crazy, like literally falling out. Like it wasn't, it wasn't just like shed here, shed there. It was more so like you run your fingers through my hair and you're taking hair out and the hair is going to be in your hand, like a bunch of hair. That's how bad my hair was shedding with Bless. I also got bald around the edges. On these two sides, I got, I had bald spots. But I was able to cover them up with, you know, hair so that I don't walk around with bald spots. Now, with baby favor, y'all, it's shedding, but it's not shedding as bad as it was shedding with Bless. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, when I made my postpartum hair loss video with Bless... All my mommies were giving me a really great advice and they were telling me, if you stop taking your prenatals, you should keep continue to take them because that's going to help with your hair loss. So when, as soon as I started to take my prenatals, my hair started to shed less. And that's why I feel like now my hair is shedding less because of that experience with Bless. I now know that I have to continue to take my prenatals so that my hair, all my hair doesn't fall out. So that's one tip. So all my mommies out there, if you are pregnant or you're about to give birth, don't stop taking your prenatals after you have that baby. Continue to take your prenatals. I would say take your prenatals for a whole year after you give birth because your body is still going through this huge transformation, you know? Like, organs are still trying to get back into place. It's, it's just a whole transformation. It's going to take time for everything to get back to, get back together. Um, so my advice would just be continue to take your prenatals. Um, right now, I I really just feel like I'm having a lot of difficulty with my hair shedding because it's just irritating, you know, because I got two under two and I don't got time to be combing my hair every five seconds. So 
as you guys know, because I've told you already, um, or if you don't know because you're new and you're watching this video, I'm going the whole year with no heat to my hair, meaning I'm not going to straighten my hair at all. And I have naturally curly hair, so that's how I'm going to keep it for a whole entire year. And probably longer, who knows. But it's just becoming very difficult that every time I go to condition my hair, or if I just wear my hair in a bun like I am now, and then I go take it down at the end of the night, my hair is tangled and knotted up like I've never combed it. It looks like, like I haven't combed my hair in weeks because of the shedding. It gets really, really tangled and really, really nappy, and it's just really difficult, and it hurts to comb out. So, on top of taking my um, prenatals, I've also been um, using this shampoo and conditioner uh, by Benta Beauty Organics. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that company, but you can go check out my Instagram. I post a lot of content on my Instagram promoting them because um, I've been take I've been using their products almost my whole pregnancy. I've been using their products for um, eight months total. Um, so I feel like that product also helps with less shedding, but the hair is still tangling. Like it's still getting netted up and it's just very irritating, very time consuming and it hurts. So I'm just gonna go get my hair braided. I think that I'm going to keep my hair braided probably for the rest of the summer. Like. Maybe get it braided, take it out, let it breathe for a little bit and get a new style because um, I just don't want to deal with it. And another thing that's annoying is y'all, y'all know that I have OCD. I'm a neat freak. So it's very irritating that every day I have to um, thoroughly clean my bathroom and super clean my bathroom because I'm just combing out my hair and hair is just going everywhere. Hair is all in my shower, all in my sink. It's just disgusting. I don't, that bothers me. It just, oh, it's just really nasty to me to have hair everywhere. I don't like to see hair. I don't want hair everywhere on the floor, on the counters, in the shower. It's just disgusting. So really it's just bothering me. So I'm like, I need to put my hair in a protective style. Um, so that I don't have to put any heat to it and so that I can still keep my natural, you know, hair going on and I can just protect it by putting braids in it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put some braids in it and call it a day because, y'all, it's too much. Um, another thing that I can say that I learned from um, when I had Bless versus now with Favor is when I had Bless, I noticed that because um, I was wearing my hair straight a lot and I had my hair straight and I feel like... When I had my hair straightened or I put heat to my hair, more hair was coming out versus when it was in its natural state. So I feel like that's another that's another reason why right now it's not it's not falling out tremendously because it's in its natural state. So that's another tip for you um for any of my moms out there. I would say stay away from that heat it, um after you have a baby. Um I would say try to wear your hair in a natural state or try to wear your hair in a protective style. So that you can avoid, you know, all of that hair loss, you know. The hair is going to the hair's gonna fall out regardless. Let me just tell you that. It doesn't really matter what you do. Um, the hair is going to fall out. But you can, there are some tips and tricks that I just gave you guys. And I'm sure you can look up to try to um, minimize how much is falling out, you know. Because, y'all, your hair be just flowing and just really gets really really long after a baby and I know you guys want to keep the length so I'm just trying to tell you guys you know ways that you could keep it versus all of that hair falling out and then you know it's like where did all my hair go um I do want to show you guys I got my hair in a bun right now um it's crazy because I washed and conditioned it just morning and it's like I got to keep combing my hair every five seconds because it just gets tangled up but I want to show you um I do have a bald spot. Um, I feel like I just noticed it this week. Like, it's been a couple days that I've noticed it. But let me show you. So, it's really not like a bald spot. But my hair is just thinning out right here around my edges, as you can see. It's just thinning out. That's it. It's not like bald, bald. But it's just starting to thin out, right? Just right here. It's really not on this side. Oh, or is it? No. It's really not on this side. It's not bad. 
but it's just starting to thin out right here and I think this is so crazy because this is the same spot that it started to thin out when I had blood and heard so many stories you know girls edges falling out or their hair completely falling out or they having bald spots and patches you know different places so I just wanted to make this video to let you guys know what I'm doing um, to try to prevent it not really prevent it because you can't prevent prevent it but what I'm doing to try to maintain it because it's gonna happen regardless um, but yeah the Benta um, products that I use the hair and shampoo and the hair growth serum it's just to help promote healthy hair growth and it's organic so it has a, a bunch of healthy benefits so you guys just go go on my Instagram so you guys can check that out um, but yeah, that's about it. That's really all I wanted to touch bases on just to give you guys an update. I am having skin issues as well. Now my skin is, y'all, that's for a whole nother video because my skin is going crazy. It might look good right here, right now. It's not, okay? It's really, really not my I'm trying my best to maintain it. So I'll do a skincare routine for you guys um, and update like my postpartum skincare routine and what I've been doing and what's going on and showing you guys what it look what it looks like. Um, so yeah, that's really it. That's all that I wanted to cover today in today's video. I hope this helped some moms out there or even if you plan on getting pregnant or even if you're about to have a baby this video is for you i hope you guys learned something from this video um but yeah that's about it i'll see you guys in our next video